Or what did I do wrong? <laughs> Those weird canoes, it's like this, dude. You got it wrong, it's like that. Oh, okay. So, what are you doing there? Trying to fix my boats. So, how are your boats coming along? Pretty cool. There's three more arch. So, share some of your cool boats. I will. Let me put this over here. Much of the three of them. With our gaming world. Okay, let's see here. That's a lot of boats. That, that's a lot. We need a bigger boat. Uh, here's the Flying Dutchman right here. No, that's the Flying Dutchman, sorry. Right? So that's a Pirates of the Caribbean version or a mythical version? A mythical version. It's not the Pirates of the Caribbean. It doesn't go underneath the water or whatever. But uh, it's a Flying Dutchman. Right there. She has uh, five cells. Yeah, that's Flying Dutchman. And, uh, I haven't played this game for, oh my god, missing a cell. This book is dead. Uh, what's in, this is the, uh... Do you remember what you're supposed to do? I don't, that's why, I, thank god I still kept my cards. Because it comes with cards that has special abilities here. And so it just reminds you what the uh, ships do, because I can't remember. And this so is the what's, that, what's the red line and the white line mean? Well, this is the distance, so, uh, of how, well, because you basically have to, you have a home base here, right here. Then you have to pretend this is water, it's like an ocean. And so you read the card, and it says, this has short plus, plus long range. Every ship has different ranges. And so if you do, you basically put it like this. And this is a short, and this is long right here, red is long. So you move it from, you know, one point to one point. I think that's how you do it. And then, uh, you know, and then you, then you do a short, because that's, uh, requires a short. So make sure you have like, a certain point you measure from uh, the same point every time, so you won't be cheating. Or so how do you attack other boats? Let's say we'll take one of your boats out of here with many masses. This will work. Okay. The Spaniard ship. Okay, so basically, a, uh, let me get the dice out. Yeah, let's say there's an island right here. Okay. Put islands out. Stop you. Okay, so there's islands here. Oh, he got sunk by an island. <laughs> yeah, they can just do. They can just just you lift the like island from the god. It's like it's like being god. There's a bunch of islands over here, and you basically have to be uh, in the range, basically in the range. Uh, and you have your cannons right here. Where are your cannons? Right there. The dice right here. What's how many cannons you have? Yeah, four cannons right there. So basically, you have to get. I uh, basically roll the dice, and I guess what you get what it has to be over so the how dice. Many, how many of your cannons can you see? Uh, basically, Which ship are you firing? Uh, flying the, Dutchman. This would be from the Flying Dutchman okay, to so, uh, what is it? The Paul Revere. No, Santa Ana. Uh, so let's say let's just go into this island, and so you're gonna fire with this mass because you can't fire through masses unless you are firing this way. Well, if you're firing this way. And so you go mass to mass, so basically I've got to fire here to here, and this has four. So I guess I have to get with five or more to destroy it. Yeah. So I roll the dice, and, uh, and it's six. So that goes off. Then I could, uh, that's my fire action. Now can you fire multiple times? I can't even remember that. I don't remember that part. Yeah, so let's say you can. Let's just skip it so you can fire multiple times. You can fire again. And hit your boat that sinks <laughs> it. I'm like the sinks it. This is three. This one over here is uh, four. So that doesn't, doesn't sink that one. It has to be above. This one is also four. That's also three, so that stays. And this one's four too. And that's a two. So it's just damaged right now, but it has three more cells. But what are these little coin things for? These are little gold pieces. And this is the point of how many gold pieces it costs. And so you put the gold onto an island. Let's say three for the argument's sake. Uh, yeah, we'll three. And let's pretend this is the Paul Revere. It's not, but... And let's say... Uh, it, uh, that's Paul Revere? Okay. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, well, okay, we'll just pretend... Your ships are broken, dude! Yeah, I know. I haven't played this game for a while. They're all just kind of thrown in there. Your brother would be embarrassed of you. Okay, let's just pretend this is the... Uh, this is the Paul Revere, okay. This is the Paul Revere. And you go over here to the island, 
And then the Paul Revere can hold up to three gold right here. Right there. So you pick up the three gold. And then the whole point is to get back home. And the home base is wherever you started from, let's say right here. Let's see, I have to get back without another island attacking you. Another ship island. Another ship attacking you. So basically, I could have this ship go come out from underneath the water. Go, yes. Jump over the island. <laughs> yes. And, and blockade you right there. That's true. And then you can fire. If you blow up my ship, you can then you get the goal. Then you have or, to go. But don't forget, we got to board the ship. We can't sink it. Oh, yeah. To board the ship. And, and then, then we can have this other ship come in this way. And this one schooner itself then with its one sail over the island this way. <laughs> yeah, so just totally <laughs> screw over to the Polar Beer. Now this one's dead already. <laughs> yeah. And so this totally destroys the ship, takes the gold, but then they start to fight because there's only three pieces of gold. Right here. So they start fighting. And they, the Flying Dutchman goes, I win! And he goes up into the sky. Bam! And that's, that's how you play the game. So I hope you learn a lot.